Hi and welcome to this MailChimp tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see how you can use the MailChimp sign up form to give out something for free. So once you've designed the form, what else can you do so that you can give out a link such as an ebook, recipe or anything that you want to give out? I did a video about how to create these sign up forms and you can look at the last video that I did about MailChimp. I will leave the link in the description. First of all, let's go to our sign up form. We're just going to go into the settings to see where you can add the links that you want to give out. So I will come here under audience. If you want to work with forms, come here under audience and then you go into sign up forms. These are the different types of forms in MailChimp and I did a video about this. Just look at the last video that I did. You're going to have a clear understanding of what these forms are for. But the one that we are interested in is a form builder. The form builder is just a form that you can use on MailChimp and if you take this link and you share it out so assuming that this is your form and you can design this however you wish you can see mine is very simple and you can just come in here and design it however you want to design it you can change different things and I did a video about how you can do this I also have other videos about how you can design this form as I've said once you've designed the form, you can just share the link on social media, anywhere you can embed, you can link to this and people will just come onto the MailChimp page with this form and they can sign up. So once they sign up, you may want to give them something for free and that's where you will need to come up here. And if you come here under forms and response emails, just click here and you can have different options. You see, you can have a final welcome email. Now the welcome email is an email that will be sent out to your subscriber as soon as they sign up. So you have the option to make this an alternative. You have the option to come here and activate this. And you can also just use the confirmation thank you page. So the thank you page, this is a page that once people sign up on your form, they will see. You can have people go to a specific link. If you want them to go to a different page, maybe you want to take them to a specific page on your website. So instead of them seeing this once they sign up, they will go to the link that you add here. So let's say that's the link that you want them to go to. You'll just click on save and this is where they will go to instead of seeing this page. So as soon as they sign up, they will be redirected. They will get redirected to that page. Maybe this is not what you want, so I'm just going to remove it. And then I'll click on save. If you want to add a link, let's say you have a PDF form that you want to give out to your subscribers. You can just come in here and you can edit this. Okay. So you can change the title. Just edit that to change the title and make it whatever you want it to be. And you can also edit. So here under editing, just select all this and we want to make the text larger. We want to make the font larger. So I can make it like 24. 24. So maybe you want to add a link here. You can just say, thank you. Your subscription to our list has been confirmed. Thank you for subscribing. Here's your download. So this one as well, let me make this one large and I'll make it 24. And this one, I'll make it a link. So just select the entire text and then I will choose on the hyperlink and you can link to an address if you want to, but of course we want to link to a file. So I'm going to click here on file and I will need to upload my file and you can upload different types of files. You can upload a PDF and different image types. I can just drag in a PDF inside here and I will drag in that. So let it upload. As soon as it's uploaded, the link for the file will be added there. And you can see this is a link to the file. Let's see what option we have here. You can add a title attribute. A title attribute is just uh, what people will see when they hover over anything. So if they bring their cursor, you can add something there that they'll see. So that's pretty much it for that. And I can just click and insert, right? So once I do that, I can click there to save. This will be on the subscription confirmed page. So this is one way to add the link or you can send this to their email. So this is not going to be in their email. This is going to be on the page. Once they sign up on the form, this is what they will see next. If you don't want this link to be here, what you can do is you can just remove it. And I'm just going to cut it. And then save. 
And so here you can tell them whatever message you want to tell them or you can have them get redirected to a different page and then click there to save. Or you may want to send the download to their email. So the final welcome email is an email that your subscribers will see. Your subscribers will see when they sign up for the first time. So you can also come in here and you can edit this. So you can see that some of these elements are not editable and this is by design of MailChimp. So you cannot remove or change the elements that you cannot change here, but you can edit this message. So your subscription, your subscription to our list has been confirmed. You can edit this however you want. And then you can add the link there. Or you can even add an image here. If you want to add a button as an image, you can click there and you can upload an image and then click on insert. So if you do want to add a link to this image, just select it and you can add a link to that image. You can add a file as your link. And we do have that PDF that we just uploaded. Click insert insert and now even this will link to the file so the download let's link that to the file insert insert and now this one links to the file so when people subscribe they can just click here's your download and they will get the download so when people subscribe this is the email that they're going to see and note that you can design this email however you want just use the tools that you have here to design your email as you may wish so i'll just click there to save and close so that's what this video is about how you can give out a download and just note that when they click on this let's just do an example and for the example i'm going to put the I'm going to put the download here. So let me click there to edit. And then I will save and close. And once I do that, let me come back to my let me come back to my sign up form. So these are different emails that you can edit here. And most of them are very self-explanatory. Just click on them if you want to edit anything about any of these emails or any of these different forms. So sign up form. So this is a link for the form. I will copy and then I will paste and go. So let's say I sign up with this email and then I subscribe. Click there subscribe All right so once somebody subscribes you see that they will they will have this here is your download you can click there and they will get the pdf file they can read it here or they can download it from there or if this is on their phone it will automatically ask them to download it or open it now something that i've remembered about the welcome email is you need to come here under final welcome email and you have to click there to confirm that you want this email sent okay if you do not send it if you do not turn this on it will not get sent so that's something that i almost forgot so ensure that you check this to ensure that the final welcome email is activated when people sign up on your form they will get the welcome email and they can download whatever you're giving out and that's what this video was about if you do have any question feel very free to let me know i will see you in another video in future